Today I want to recommend to you two different books by two different authors, but their stories do intersect and both books are once again true. The first book is Miracle in the Hills by Mary T. Martin Sloop, MD. This true story takes place in Crossnell, North Carolina, which is a small town in the mountains near Blowing Rock. In 1909, Dr. Sloop and her husband, who was also a doctor, were newly married and they moved into a primitive community of people in the North Carolina mountains. The people were uneducated and hard working and they lived without electricity or plumbing, roads or even running water. And they would marry their children off in their early teens and the whole cycle would start all over again. Dr. and Dr. Sloop loved these people and worked almost nonstop to improve their lives. Mary and her husband would sometimes do surgery by candlelight or outside under a tree on a sunny day, and they even had a chicken land on a patient once during surgery. Did I mention this was a primitive community? The stories Mary writes about in this book are hilarious, but I particularly was inspired by how her love for these people brought out so much creativity and resourcefulness. She and her husband would overcome each and every challenge with complete joy and faith. Mary started Cross North School for the children, and it is still changing the lives of children to this day. This couple could have been a wealthy power couple by the world's standards. Instead, they chose to be a wealthy power couple by God's standards, and they are still blessing others even though now they have both moved to heaven. Now my second book is The Suitcases by Anne Hall Witt. This book is the story of three sisters. The author Anne is the middle sister of the three. Their life starts off with a happy home and loving parents. That all changes when their mother dies, and their father is struggling to put one foot in front of the other, much less properly care for his daughters. The girls are put into foster care, and each girl has one little cardboard suitcase for her belongings. Their lives became very, very difficult. Now, I don't want to tell you too much, but let's just say Cross North School is one of the things that made a big difference in Anne's life. I really love getting to fast forward to and revisit Cross North to see how it had grown over the decades. Mary Sloop was still there lovingly serving and spry as ever. So that is my worthy book journey for you this time. And if you find yourself in North Carolina, I highly recommend a physical journey like I took to Cross North School. It is still fully operational and changing the lives of children for the better.